part of transportation with the railroad. The Steamliner era is best remembered of the 1930s of the railroad industry. This period, the zenith of classic railroading is what it was called. Trains provided comfortable and reliable transportation for millions of Americans. Locomotives now entered the World War II and started helping. Diesel locomotives replaced the steam engines and were more reliable and entered the post-war. During 1929, railroads suffered a national economic collapse. The Ford Model T was first designed and built by hand. The early T's were open cars until 1911. The first wheels were wooden artillery wheels, with steel weighted spoke wheels available in 1926 and 1927. A flywheel magneto was an electrical generator that produced the high voltage necessary to produce a sufficiently high energy spark to initiate combustion. The standard four seat car cost $850 the equivalent to $20,709 today. Henry Ford believed the Model T was the only car a person would or could ever need. Ships of the 1920s and 30s. The Albatross was the most famous sailing ship. It served as a pilot boat, a radio station ship, and even a training ship for the Dutch. Coal was no longer used as an energy source to get the boats to move. Oil was the new source, and it increased the speed. In the 1920s, shipyards launched passenger ships that were known for their style and comfort. 1925 to 1927 was the first topographic survey of the Atlantic floor. In the 1930s, wireless telegraph was first used on a United States vessel. 1931 was the first submarine expedition underneath ice. In the 1930s, flying boats made regular air travel between the United States and Europe. New routes to South America, Africa, and even Asia were possible. Radio and television transmitters were invented in the early 1920s. Prior to the 1920s, women used an exhaust pipe from a vacuum cleaner to dry their hair. <laughs> In the 1920s, the first hair dryer was invented, although it overheated easily. In 1927, Eric Rotham invented the aerosol can, which is used for hairspray and deodorant. <laughs> Later, Earl Dickinson invented the Band-Aid. In 1928, Jacob Schick patented the electric shaver, which made grooming easier. In 1920, the traffic lights was invented by William Potts, a police officer from Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> in 1927, Edward Haas III invented Pez Candy. In 
been a 1928 penicillin invented by Alexander Fleming, used after World War I. In 1934, radar was invented. We're not sure who about, but it was used in airplanes to discover enemy planes. In 1939, the first commercial helicopter was invented by Igor Sikowski. In 1935, the first canned beer was invented. A standard four-seated car costs eight hundred and fifty dollars. The equivalent. Hold on. Cole, Cole is kicked. Kicked. I don't know. Okay. Um, coal was no longer used as an energy source to get the boats to move. We started to. They started. Go on, man. The go to laugh. That wasn't even me. Uh, 1920, the traffic light was. Come on, man. In 1920, the traffic lights was invented by William Potts, a police officer from Detroit. <laughs> Dakota's in the back spot. In 1927, Pet. Oh, man, come on. In 1934. Oh, come on, man. Wait, well, hold on, stop. First commercial. In 1935. I said five. I said five. I meant, I meant nine. Nine. What the? <laughs>